Are you gonna charge for those milk bath beautiful relaxing set of nails today's situation is your client comes in and wants the hot trend right now which are the milk bath nails how do you do these nails and exactly how much are you gonna charge let's go talk to pro nail artist Tracy Ryerson and find out all the details of this set Tracy, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety today. I think I, I need a milk bath. <laughs> this is gonna be the most relaxing, very calming set of nails. I think you're just enjoying me doing something I don't really 100%. like. 100%. This is true, because it's real life. This is true. Right? It is, it's real life. Because sometimes there are little trends. It's not like a bubble nail that they right. come in and they're like, I want this, and you're like, there's no way Can't I can put my it. name on that. Right, right, of course. You know, but it's, it's a trend. It's, Maybe not my favorite look, but it's pretty. And yeah. and you make the nail look the shape and whatever that you like and, and I'll survive. Yes, you will survive. I have anxiety. How do you plan to do this? We're gonna be using core white acrylic. Okay, thank you. Get that milky look. Yes. Um, we have some dry flowers that it was harder to find them than I thought. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, and then you'll see the rest. It's, it's not too hard, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully they'll like it better than I do. Well, I'm hoping that the set of nails that you do calms you and relaxes you. It is milk bath after all. I can't wait to see how much you charge. Tracy, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay, before we get started, let's show you the products we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using our nail liquid. We're gonna be using our core white acrylic for that milk look. We'll also be using some Speed Clear. And then of course, we have our dried flowers. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, we're gonna start by pushing back that cuticle lightly. Gonna take a look at things, see if there's any lifting or damage to the nail. We're gonna go ahead and pull out our medium crosscut bit. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna pull that skin back so we can tuck right into that cuticle area. Get it nice and clean, follow through, remove the shine from the surface of the nail. Next, we're gonna grab our swipe, our clean manicure brush, brush down so we get all that dust and oils off the nail. And this will help prevent lifting. Next, we're gonna grab our protein wand. Get that on the surface of the whole nail all the way through. I'm gonna do all 10 fingers. I'm gonna come back and do a second coat. And this way, we don't have to worry if this is a problematic child <laughs> or customer, that they don't have any heavy lifting. Two coats will keep anybody from lifting. Grab our form, move this to the back. And let's get that form on. curve to that nail and take a look make sure that it's not crooked and we are ready to apply our product grab our liquid our core white I'm gonna go ahead and grab our flowers I have two different kinds I have some that are full pieces and then I have in this one I have ones that I have cut halfway just in case I want to have them coming off the sides so first, let's go ahead and sculpt out the free edge, and we're gonna make this nice and thin. We don't wanna thicken everything up because we still have to put in our flowers, and that way we won't file them out. So let's get the free edge on first. Place that down, gonna connect it to that sidewall. Bring it out. sure how long I want her nails today. 
napkin. I'm just making sure I keep this nice and thin so we have room to apply everything. Okay, once we have the free edge, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the body of the nail too. Again, this is gonna be nice and thin. Nice and wet. Get down into that cuticle area. We have some glitter we're not even gonna charge her for. Once we have our base layer on, we're gonna go ahead and lay our flowers in. So let's pick up one. I'm just gonna press it down into that wet acrylic. You can always use the back of your brush. Pick up some of our purple. Overthink it. If we need a little more tack, we can just get another wet pearl, put it down, pick up another flower, possibly. Get that down. Press it in. Okay. So now that we have our layer down, we're gonna get that milky look by using that core white again, and we're just gonna put a nice thin layer over the top of it. Okay, I'm just gonna use small wet pearls just to kind of get the look. So I'm gonna work kind of around and decide how milky I want the certain areas to be, how much of the flowers I wanna cover up, do I want some more exposed than the others? We get that milk bath look we're going for. Okay, we can always add a little bit more if we want some flowers looking like they're on top of the milk bath. And once we have our look that we're going for, that we have our areas milky that we want, we're gonna get our strength by capping and clear. Okay, so again, grab our liquid. And let's get all the upper strength and cap all that flowers in clear. That way when we go to file, we're not filing them out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cap. By capping in the clear instead of in the, completely in the core white, we can control how milky the look is. And we know, we can know exactly what it's gonna look like. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of our nails. I'm gonna file and shape this one, and we'll get back to you with the finished look. Okay, we've filed and finished the rest of the nails. We're gonna go ahead with our top coat. First, we're gonna apply our protein bond. And this way we know that we will not get any chipping from the surface of our nails. Grab our YN stain resistant top coat. Get that on the nail. Gonna get it in the light for 60 seconds. Grab our swipe and remove that sticky layer. And we are done. Tracy, mm -hmm. the nails are so relaxing. 
milk, bath, loveliness. I'm feeling it. I feel calm and soothed. The only question I have for you mm -hmm. is how much? 135. 135. The nails are beautiful. Thank you. Explain to me your pricing, please. So full set, 90. We did airbrushing, so another 10. Um, so we're at 100. 15 for the shape, mm. 115. And then for those nails, I would charge $5 per. So I'm assuming she'd get two on the other hand, so that's an extra one, uh, 20. Well, wait, $5 per, what do you mean? Per uh, milk, no. Oh, per finger. Please explain to me the difference between embedding those and embedding Mylar, because Mylar is just like an additional art mm -hmm. color for $5. You're charging per finger here, why? Because it's a little more, um, you have to be more careful with it. it they're, they're dried flowers, which is why one of the reasons I used to hate doing them, like they break apart and you're trying mm. to fix them and you're trying to place them in a certain place. And then you're also doing that milky white on top of them and getting that look just right. Whereas glitter and mylar, I just kind of slap it on. I'm like, I'm just getting it into the nail. So there's a little more technique to it. Got it. And then I'm also kind of thinking down the road to removal. Oh, okay. It's more of a pain. Okay, and the thing is too, if somebody wants a set of nails, you're gonna have to remove completely whatever they have on to correct. put the set on, correct? correct? Maybe mm -hmm. we'll do a real time to show how this is done later, if so requested. The ombre combination with the milk bath nails is like such a great combo, I love it. It's Thank really you. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. And we'll see you next week on How Much. <laughs>